grow a power cup of thank goodness from our open fire. Um, now to off to snuggle the guinea pigs up as much as possible. Now this is what's known as the calm under the storm. Now we've got little Nick here who is very happy to have her infrared heat lamp on because we've got our power's back on. Meg, how's this whole storm experience been for you? Well, quite frankly, it's been really stressful because Mummy kept coming out and checking us and putting more hay in, but we didn't have our heat lamp on and we could hear all the wind outside. But luckily, in a minute, you'll see all the hay piles we had to hide in. So we kept all right, but we love our heat lamp. Thanks, Molly. Now, Meg. Meg. It sounds like you'd hide because you're nearly brave. Meg, has it upset you a bit, the storms? Has it been a little bit stressful not having electricity? I mean, it really has because, quite honestly, you know, it just disrupted our normal routine and we did have extra hay, but it's not the same as our heat lamp. And then also during the day, Mummy puts on her nice sort of possible, what's it called, the SAD lamp for the proper daylight so that we've got proper light so I much prefer it now and Dylan I won't disturb you but can you see it under the little wooden bit there Dylan Dylan how's it been for you of course I've been fine I've managed all of it I'm you know I'm a cool dude nothing stresses me out honestly can you see how gorgeous Dylan is you're all gorgeous aren't you thank you very much for your input I'm very pleased you please the storm's over I was really pleased the storm's over so look, they've got I put loads of extra hay piles in there and loads of looks just snug hiding spaces. They could all snuggle up to keep warm. Look how much hay is in there. There's rather a lot. I'm very lucky because I've got horses, I've got quite a few bales of hay. But I can guarantee they're all very, very happy to have their heat lamp back on and back to normality after the stall. So it's the little things in life that are important. We can sometimes take these things for granted. And you don't take them for granted, do you, guinea pigs? No, we really don't. We really, really appreciate them. That's a very good lesson. Thank you for sharing. Bye-bye, girls. Bye-bye, Dylan. Now, Idris, be honest with you. Were you just about to jump in with the guinea pigs? You are so shiny, aren't you? The light's gone off. It's been feeding the foxes here and giving some satsumas, actually, to the horses, which they really love. Now, Idris, in the storms, has been looking after us all. Idris, you're very shiny. I'd wish my hair looked as good as you. Have you been looking after us all and keeping an eye on everything? Yeah, you've been very good boy, but you weren't gonna go in with the guinea pigs, were you? Yeah, come and show me how you hunt this mole. This is the nastiest effing thing. Come on, good boy. You will be on your late night patrol. Yeah, come on then, come on with mama. Oh, pumpkin, you're helping as well. Hi, pumpkin. Are the girls inside? I think their girls are sensibly inside in the warm. They're very happy to have the heat back on, aren't they? But the boys are on patrol as always. So we're still just in the storm, but think, oh, he's, where's he gone? Idris has been missing all day, has come back. He won't have really been missing. He's absolutely expert at finding. And Pumpkin, you're having great fun, aren't you? <laughs> they love each other, these two, so much. They're just best friends. It's just absolutely adorable. In fact, Pumpkin's one of these cats. He's been best friends with every male cat we've had. It's quite sad, really, because he's lost his two other best friends, Ralph, who he came to with us, and, um, and Patch. So he's been through quite a tough one, hasn't he? But now he's got naughty little brother Idris, who is hysterical. And honestly, I mean, uh, I have words just for that. And Pumpkin, you love everyone, don't you? You really do love everyone. But they're having really good fun chasing leaves in the wind. It's absolutely hysterical. So I just wanted to show that to say, you know, you don't need to wait for someone else to entertain you. You don't need to wait for anyone else to tell you what to think. You just need to be like it and Pumpkin. <laughs> and have so much fun. I mean, look, it's just brilliant. They've blown all my protections off my plants that I'm putting the thing. And they literally, I, I the pumpkin stop, but they've been playing with each other together on this for hours. And it's just adorable. I can't tell you how you sit there. I've been, I'm looking at loads of crap silly comments with people slugging people off on YouTube and things. 
and then you just think, be like this and come on. And then of course the birds, it's really important not to affect the birds. We've got quite a few different bird feeders up here. Um, got another one on that tree. They grow, go so quickly. The bird feeders, this is suet with lovely berries and nuts. We've got a couple more on that tree. And then over here, which is the lovely apple tree that my office where for my videos looks out on. We've got one there. We've got another one there. And we've got two there. And you will find that that's my office in the garden there where I film all my videos from. Anyway, you will find there this is absolutely alive. So when I'm filming my videos, if I look distracted, I'm looking out at all the birds. <laughs> They're beautiful. Idris. Idris. Yeah, Idris, what are you doing to your brother? You're being rather cheeky, aren't you? What are you doing? Have you asked Charlie if you can get up there? Charlie's being very tolerant and waiting for his feet to be done. Okay, I'll come and get you. Hang on. I'm spying. Can you see them all out eating and foraging? Look, look how big Dylan is. He's like, do you go? I know it's not very clear because it's through the window, but I don't want to interrupt them by opening up the window. Oh, Dylan, you can hear me. You are so adorable. So we've got Dylan there by the bowls close to the picture. Then the next one back, all orange, is little Meg. And then Molly is the ginger and white one at the back. And look who's come to see if he can peer through the window. Yes, you've left it in goes the wonder cat. Oh, that's so cute. What's that? You want to come in? Come on then, come for a cuddle. And then I've got lovely Star here. We're just having our walk with Star. Anyway, I just wanted to show you. Um, Piggy's having tea.